There isn't an obvious import option in LibreOffice Base, but you can import CSV files using the following method. Basically, the process is to open the CSV file in the spreadsheet LibreOffice Calc and then copy and paste it into the database. So I'm going to start off by uh, finding my CSV file. I'm going to click the right mouse button and I'm going to go to Open with LibreOffice Calc. And that will take me through the wizard, allowing me to import that file into into the spreadsheet. Not quite sure why that takes so long to come to the top there. So um, it's chosen some of the uh, right default options, and at the bottom it's looking OK. So I'm just going to click um, OK now. And what that will do is that will open the file in the spreadsheet. So I'm going to zoom out a bit to give me more um, of the information on screen. I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and find the last, the last cell. And then I'm going to do Shift, Control, and Home. And that will highlight all of the information right up to the top left-hand corner. I'm going to do Control c um, but of course you could also do the right click and copy. Okay, so the next step then is to open um, Base. So I'm going to open LibreOffice Base and I'm going to choose to open a new database. Uh, I'm going to click Next and I'm not going to register this. I think registering makes it available in other uh, LibreOffice applications but I'm not going to use it in any other. And then I'm going to Finish. I need to find somewhere to save my um, file. So I'm going to go to um, my desktop and save it in my databases file. And I'm going to call it uh, records because it contains record information. And then I'm going to save that. And then I get a blank database. So on the left, I've got my tables, queries, etc. But I haven't actually got any in there. These are just categories. So now all I need to do is I need to go to edit and paste. And when I do that, it'll ask me for the name of the table. So I'm going to call that uh, TBL. So I'm going to use the Lisinski Reddit naming convention and start my objects with three letters that indicate what they are. So a TBL for table, QRY for query, etc. And I'm going to call it records. And I'm going to import the data and the definition. So the, the definition means uh, the names of the tables and what type they are. So I'm going to use the first column, uh, the, or the first line as the column names. And, um, well, I'm going to leave that blank uh, for the time being. Because in Access, you don't need to create a primary key. It will let you create a table without one. So it's asking me which columns do I want. So you can select one and use the, the single arrow um, to select one at a time. Or you can just use the double arrow to select them all. So I'll have the lot. And then I can go through and check that it's got the right type. So it's saying that they're all text. Now, it's selected quite a, a long length for those, but uh, I'm not going to adjust that now. You could adjust that to the um, the right length, because actually, um, length, certainly, and medium aren't that long. So medium, I think, is probably only three characters long, because it's either uh, a number of inches or CD in this particular database. But we've been through all the steps now, so I'm going to click on Create. So, so I said that... Uh, access didn't require you to create a primary key, but it appears that LibreOffice Base does, so I'm just going to let it create one. And it takes a while, there we go. And then in the table section, uh, we've got our table called Table Records. And if I double click that, we can see that um, there we've got that information, and it's telling us um, at the bottom. Um, well, it's misreporting. It's not telling us the number of records. Is it must be telling us down as far as the, the bottom one, but certainly they're all in there. There's a large number of uh, records, so we can see those. The other thing that works uh, slightly differently is the way you filter. So if you want to filter something in LibreOffice, it hasn't got the drop-down lists at the top like Access, Excel, and LibreOffice Calc do. But what you can do is you can choose uh, a data value. So if you want to find all the singles from the 80s, for example, you can click on Single, and then you can click on the Funnel. 
and that will show you the singles and then if you, you click on one from the 80s and click the funnel again and that will show you the 80s singles and then if you want the 80s folk singles you can click on folk and click it again and you can see each time you do that it narrows down uh, the list of options and then if you want to go back to the full list then you can click uh, that button at the top right with a cross on it and that resets the filters and takes you back to the full list and um, what you can also sort on a column so if you want to sort them into name of artist for example you can click in that column and then use the uh, arrow key so you can sort and uh, filter it's just different from the, uh, the way it's done in access or you can click on the, the standard filter and you can say things like um, you could do um, length is equal to single and then and decade is equal to 80s and actually one thing you can do in LibreOffice that you can't do in Access is you can select or so when you're filtering in Access you can only use and but you can actually um, do that if you want to but that's not what we want to do in this case so uh, for some reason that's not quite worked but um, let's try that again so we want uh, length is single maybe it's case sensitive so access isn't case sensitive but um, we'll try this so 80s okay so obviously um, LibreOffice is case sensitive so that's one thing to watch out for as well You can, however, create a query. So if you go to Query and create a query in Design View, it works very much in the same way as um, the Access Query. So what we can do is we can add the, that table. I'm just going to reduce that in size. There we go. So we can add the fields in the same way. So if I wanted to find out all the um, titles and the artists of the 80 singles, I would need to include the columns that I want to see, title and artist and then I need to include the decade and the length and then on the criteria row at the bottom there's this extra row uh, that we've got uh, called function that we'll, we'll skip and we'll say criteria so decade is 80s length is single just like uh, access it puts the speech marks in for you if you miss them out and again you can um, sort them so if you want to sort them into order of title uh, we can do that and again we can untick the box so it's called visible rather than show but it does the same thing we don't need to show that and um, then we can save that and view the results so we're going to save the changes so let's call that uh, QRY uh, 80s singles Okay, um, let's try that again. Okay, so we'll close that then, and if we run that query, we can see that it's it's found those, and it's put them into alphabetical order. So query is very similar to access. Um, the filtering is a little bit different, and the import is completely different.